Hi, I'm Harish Tibrewala, Joint CEO of Miram India, and I'm going to talk to you about marketing automation. This is a term that we come across a lot nowadays in the digital world. So what, what really is marketing automation? If you look at what is the challenge for a brand, you know, in, in the new and the digitally connected world, once upon a time, a consumer had a very linear communication journey. You know, saw an ad on the TV, made a purchase, went to a shop, saw a point of presence, made a purchase. It was a very linear journey. But because of multiple digital data points, the consumer journey has become very complicated. There is WhatsApp, there is Google, there is SMS, there is social media networks. There are all kinds of data touch points. And a brand has to be present at all these touch points. Wherever the consumer is there, a brand needs to be there. So the challenge is how can the brand be there at all touch points and still ensure consistent communication. If you look at this chart, you know, there are so many touch points that a customer has. It's a web, it's a call center, somebody came to an event, some, somebody's engaged on SMS, there's an email going out. With all these touch points, how do you start planning campaigns to be sure that you get consistent communication to the customer across all touch points? That is the brand challenge. Where do I see a brand opportunity? And here is the brand opportunity. And let me share with you two examples. I have the credit card of one of the largest credit card companies in India and I've been using the card for the last 10 years. Every month I get an email saying, do you want EMI? For the last 10 years, I have not used EMI. And for the next 10 years, I will not use EMI. But it is such a wasted communication. Each month I get a mail, do you want EMI? Now this credit card company has so much information about me. They know where I travel, they know what I eat, they know my likes and preferences. If they could send me a communication on a monthly basis based on my behavior of using the card, the chance of my using the card actually increases. Or we take the case of another retail store, large brand retail store. I am part of the loyalty program. On Diwali, I get a mailer which shows some saris and the brand wants to know, do I want to buy saris? Now the brand has so much information about me. They know my gender. They know what kind of things I buy regularly. Why can't they send me a communication which is personalized to me? If I am fond of wearing blue shirts, the male should show a blue shirt when it comes to me. And if you are fond of wearing a white shirt, the same male when it comes to you should have a white shirt. So based on consumer behavior, brands need to be able to learn to do communication. That is really where I see opportunity. All of us are sitting on tons of consumer data of people who have come to the website and left email IDs, of people who have engaged with the brand, of people who have bought products. But are we able to continue the customer journey? and talk to the customer the exact language of the product that the customer really wanted. This really to me is the opportunity. What is the solution? The, the solution is some kind of a marketing automation platform. What does a marketing automation platform allow one to do? You can set rule based communication based on certain rules, based on certain consumer patterns, based on certain personas, communication can get triggered. And the same communication can follow the customer on email, on SMS, on IVR, on, on app notification, on website. So what you are ensuring is you are showing the customer right communication across all the channels. And this helps to generate customer loyalty, sales and absolutely ROI. Here is a case study example on how marketing automation really works. Let's look at the case of Alpha brand. Alpha brand is a leading fashion brand. It has a digital as well as a brick and mortar presence, believes in lifelong relationship with the customer rather than transactional relationship. The protagonist of our story is a person called uh, Saurabh Jain. He is a CIO of an Indian FMCG major. He is a busy man and a family professional. One day Saurabh is on his Twitter line and he is doing something and then he sees a, sees a comment from one of his friends who has bought a new suit. So he has posted a message saying, you know, I have bought a new suit. Saurabh responds to this message saying, I also want to buy a new suit, something like that. Now, Alpha brand is constantly listening to social conversations. The moment it sees an intention from a customer to buy a product that it is selling, it responds back to the customer, you know, on Twitter saying, Saurabh, you know, we know you want to buy a suit. Why don't you check out our range of suits? And a URL is generated. And the URL is a customized URL exactly for the suit section. Now, this is happening in an automated fashion. There is not somebody at the back end actually picking up every tweet and building response. It's an automated generated engine which says that the moment you see an intent or a requirement for a product that you have, can you send a communication out asking the customer to engage with the brand. <coughs> Saurabh clicks on the link. He goes to the website. 
he logs into the website using his social credentials like if I f connect or something predictive intelligence ensures that saurabh directly lands on the suit's page you know because he had a desire for a suit and the software has been able to pick it up the url to send saurabh will directly take him to the suit's page he doesn't need to start from the home page and navigate his way through so he lands on the suit's page he spends some time on the website he browses through the suit collection and he leaves without making any purchase what happens thereafter after a couple of days alpha brands sends saurabh an email okay showing suits similar to what saurabh had seen on the site how does alpha brand get the email id it gets the email id because saurabh has logged on to the website using his social credentials so now that you have an email id and now that you know what the customer wanted your next communication to the customer shows something relevant to the customer and this email has plenty of call to action so right from go to the website and make a purchase or give us a call or book an appointment to come to our nearest showroom saurabh chooses the option of booking an appointment so the moment he clicks on book an appointment link you know using the ip address of the location from where saurabh is browsing it shows all the stores in the near vicinity saurabh chooses a particular store and enters his visit details okay so indicates when he wants to go for a visit almost in real time the person who is a salesman at the store sahil in this case gets information that saurabh will be visiting the store on whatever 11 february at 5 pm as soon as sahil gets the information sahil sends a confirmation back to saurabh dear saurabh i am sahil we look forward to your visit at 5 pm so already you are engaging the customer at a very very personal basis as soon as saurabh reaches the store the suits that he wanted are already kept aside for him because sahil knows what are the kind of suits saurabh wanted remember saurabh had clicked on a url gone to the site spent some time looking at some suits so by now the brand knows what saurabh is looking for so moment saurabh reaches the store he gets a personalized selection he looks at a few suits okay goes through them gets a very very good experience after trying some suits he decides to make a purchase he purchases a couple of suits after looking at suits saurabh also wants to buy some trousers he checks out trousers however trousers in his size are not available tons and tons of upsell is lost simply because customer requirement does not get captured in terms of what the customer wanted but in our case sahil makes a note of what the customer wanted using the same platform so now in the platform there is a note which says saurabh a customer wanted so and so skus <coughs> okay next a saurabh receives a mail from alpha brand thanking him for making the visit after a few days saurabh receives another mail this time telling him that the suit the, the trousers that he wanted are now available okay because the brand has kept a track of what saurabh wanted and now from the database moment the suits are available a message is triggered saying that the trousers you wanted are now available you can come to our store or you can order them online then based on his regular purchase history saurabh starts receiving email to build conversation you know brands have lost the idea of art of conversation we are constantly in a sales mode we want to sell all the time you know moment you can buy a mobile phone from a shop or an online store after 3 days you'll get one more mail do, do, do you want a cover for the phone do, do you want a gorilla glass for the phone brands are constantly in the sale mode why can't i get a message from that online shop saying that here are some three good apps for you for your business or how to take care of your phone alpha brand is trying to engage in a conversation it is sending saurabh an invitation to attend a preview of new suits it knows saurabh behavior he is a high net worth individual he buys expensive suits he gets an invite for buying some to to, to view, view a preview collection saurabh does not reply to the mail he gets an sms at the back end the software knows that the mail is not opened it automatically triggers an sms he gets an sms mind you the sms is not about trying to make a sale it is telling saurabh we had sent you an invitation you know it's relevant for you why don't you come to our collection maybe saurabh doesn't open the sms he sees a facebook ad okay the platform is able to do all this by itself it knows email did not get opened so sms goes it knows sms did not get responded to so he sees a facebook ad so you see how the brand is able to follow the customer across different kind of digital touch points with a communication completely relevant for the customer and of course the brand starts sending regular newsletter like you know tips on suits what you may like and so on and all communication completely personalized for for saurabh's requirement you know 
so if you look at the journey for, for the brand you know how the brand has made sort of a lifetime customer we started from an anonymous browser you know when sort of got the twitter link it was an anonymous browser when he came to the website and logged on that anonymous browser became a known user from known user when he went he bought his first suit at the store it became the first purchase and when we did the upsell by selling a trouser it became like a repeat purchase and now when he comes for our event to to look at the suit collection he becomes like a loyal customer this entire journey kind of gets mapped on because of the platform in a completely automated fashion this was the journey that we followed for sorup so we started with social listening and from there we went to email you know got him to social connect came to the website saw the suits came to the store you know send an sms reminder to him promotional email showed a social ad and this was a complete journey for sorup but the journey for somebody else let us say could have been completely different from social listening we could have shown a social ad instead and from social ad we could have taken with a website and from the website to email so all these channels that we are seeing are basically building blocks of marketing automation and for different consumers and different persona we can put these building blocks in a different fashion so once you are able to create your communication which completely caters to the customer you are able to create different personas for each persona identify what is the best journey for the persona you are able to make creatives for that journey you are able to guide a customer from one end to another throughout his digital journey this really is the essence of marketing automation being able to do digital communication at scale using platform which allows you personalized communication better analytics and therefore better roi is the power of marketing automation thank you so much